Hello and welcome back to the Smart Process YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to change the secondary CT ratio on the STM630 MCT series from 5 amp secondary to 1 amp secondary. So we've got the meter wired up using the auxiliary terminals live and neutral. And we'll just go through now to show you how to change the secondary CT from 5 amp to 1 amp. So first we're going to press and hold the E button for three seconds to bring up this password menu. And then we're going to press the M upwards arrow to change the password to 1000 and press and hold the E for three seconds again. And now we're in the settings part of the meter. So we're going to use the down arrow, which is the P button, to scroll through the settings until we get to CT. Tap it a few times, just keep tapping. So we've got CT2 is 5 amp. So we're going to press and hold E, the enter, to go into that menu. You can now see that the 5 is flashing. And then we're get, again just going to use P to change that down to 1. If you, if you use P again, it changes it back to 5. And then you could use M as well, which is the up arrow. So it's either up or down. And I'll change it between 1 and 5 because they're the two CT input options. So then once we've got it set to 1, we just press and hold the E button. And that says good. So that has now been set to one amp secondary. And then we can just press escape the top button to exit back out onto the main uh, total kilowatt hours screen. So when you change the CT ratio from five to one amp, you need to also set the CT primary. And normally if you set the CT primary with this meter, you'd actually divide the, C, uh, the primary by the secondary to get the CT ratio. Um, but that's only if it's 5 amp secondary. So the fact that we've set this to 1 amp secondary means that you just have to input the actual CT value as the primary current into the CT primary. So for example, sorry if that's a little bit confusing, but for example, if you've got 100 to 1 amp CT, then you'd set the CT primary as 100. Whereas if you had 100 to 5 amp CT with this meter, you'd set it to 20 because it would be 100 divided by 5. So that's the difference. So when you've got it set to one amp, you don't need to do the division. You just need to set it as the actual value. So this was just a short video to show you how to actually change it from five amp to one amp secondary. But we have a separate video that shows you how to actually set the CT ratio on the meter in terms of the primary ratio. So we'll include a link to that video up here somewhere at the top that you can click now. And we'll also include it in the description at the bottom of the video. So be sure to click on that if you want to know actually how to set the primary ratio. The reason why we've done this in split videos as well is because we already had the primary set in um, from a while back, but we've had a few requests on how to set the secondary. So we thought we'd make this video separately. But yeah, um, if you need to know how to actually set the CT ratio in full, then the original video will help you out a little bit more. Thank you very much for watching through to the end. If you have any questions or need any additional information, feel free to get in touch with us on 01268 773 422 or the email address inquiry at smartprocess.co.uk. Please like the video. As I said, leave any comments as well. Um, we, we reply to all our comments, so feel free to leave a comment with any questions. And please subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.